97 KROY with JR 552, 54 degrees. Uh, maybe a chance of rain later on today. A high of around 75. It's time for the Friday morning joke fest. I got a quick one for okay. you here. How many, uh, how many Sac State football players does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> I don't know. Only one, but his coach makes sure he gets four credits for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seven KRY with more music and more for real money just after six o'clock with JR. Time to get your crack out of the sack jacket is the Friday morning joke fest. I'm ready for some wacky ones. I'm ready for comedy razzle dazzle of a high order. That voodoo, you do so well, babe. You know, cat, now crack me up. 766 9797. And you know, if you're like in Tahoe, babe, 1 800 228 K R O Y. And I mean that. It's Sam. We're a bunch of party animals. We ain't leaving till we're heaving. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, we've hired laboratory rats to run on a conveyor belt to wind the free money of music clock, and we'll be firing that baby up here in just a bit on KROY. 97 KROY 607 and 54 degrees. Uh, maybe, just maybe, chance of rain later on today. Mm, a high of around uh, 75. It's the Friday morning joke fest. I'm ready for some wacky comedy or razzle dazzle of a high <laughs> order. Have you heard any good ones lately? I'm working with you, Zahums. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard yeah, a good yeah, one? Yeah. Heard a yeah. good one? You know a good joke? Yeah, Greg. Yo, <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Wait, aren't we in second grade oh, this morning? God. <laughs> Can we just leave now? Okay. 97 KROY 611, 54 degrees. Uh, maybe a chance of rain later on today, a high of 75. Uh -huh. And friends and neighbors, it's the Friday morning joke fest. Woo! Rolling in here left and right. <laughs> I haven't heard a really good one in a very long time. You know, time. isn't that funny how they come along in, in like like little spurts? Like you'll hear a bunch of good ones. Yeah. And everybody well, they're, they're, will know them. One of the reasons that they go in spurts is sometimes there's not have, hasn't been a topic to joke about lately. So it's there hasn't the, been a lot of good ones yeah, to come out. Yeah, we need a natural disaster. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you need something that was painful that nobody's supposed to make jokes about. Yeah. And then jokes will flock in left <laughs> and right. That's exactly what it is. I got a, a funny story I came across, and this is true. Mm -hmm. The very first, first we went to Russia and opened McDonald's. Right. Now they've opened the very first Russian fast food restaurant in America. Oh. What's it called? Um, I can't pronounce the name of it, and it's in, it's in uh, West Virginia. Get out. <laughs> and I've got this guy's number. His name is Adolf, and Adolf. he's lived here for about nine, ten years, something you're, like that. You're serious? I'm totally serious. Adolf? Who'd want to eat their food? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what it is. It's bad. I it's know. It's got to be bad just bland and tasteless. <laughs> Wait a minute, that'll go over big in America, won't it? Especially West Virginia. Serve it on a stick, they'll be flocking for it. But uh, we're going to try and call him in just a little bit. This should be interesting. I want to know what the hell you have for fast food restaurant. McBorst? <laughs> there you go. McVodka? McDorby's. We'll uh, give him a call here in just a few minutes. And it is the Friday Morning Joke Fest. Good luck. Hello. You know what we had to do? I think we're going to play Baby Joke Day. Where the little bitty ones can call in and do jokes. Oh, that's a good idea. That's oh, always okay. fun because they take a joke that's actually like two lines and turn it into a book. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I, um, um, no, wait. Then, um, um, uh. let's go to the phone here. 97 Croy, good morning. Hi, I've got a joke for you. All right, make me laugh. Okay, um, why can't Russians, why don't Russians have Taco Bell? Why don't Russians have Taco Bell? Because they can't seem like a run for the border. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's a cute one. Little, little wacky gangster. Get out of here. He's killing us. Go to school, dude. 616, 53 degrees. Uh, it's going to be sunny to me. What the hell? High in the mid-70s. Good morning. Get your butt out of bed with GR in the morning. Seven K R O Y six thirty nine fifty three degrees. The Friday morning joke fest. Uh, lots of sunshine today. Maybe a chance of rain later in the afternoon. A high in the mid seventies. All right, we're uh, coming up with the uh, winner for our 
mystery movie sneak peek, if you will, from 49er Video. I'll play the clip, and then we'll go to the phone again. Well, why don't you give me the message, and I'll take it to him. Okay, I guess I can do that. Um, tell Victor that Ramon, the fella he met about a week ago, tell him that um, Ramon went to the clinic today, and I find out that I have um, Herpes Simplex 10. And I think Victor should go check himself out with his physician. All right, then. <laughs> Yikes, that sounds painful. 97 Cry, good morning, who's this? This is Josh. Josh, do you know what movie that was from? Sure do. What? Beverly Hills Cop. Which one? One. No! Oh. Wait a minute. You, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why does it have two on here? You're right. Yeah. I should have known that. I've seen that one. Uh-huh. You're right. You're right. Oh, happy day. Thanks. All right, Josh, I got five free movie rentals for you from 49er Video. All right. All right. All right. What's your favorite radio station? 97 K R O Y. Most music guaranteed. 97 K R O Y with more music and more free money just after 7 o'clock with JR. Good morning. 97 K R O Y Sacramento. I don't know where my baby is. The Sand in Your Crack song. Sex on the Beach. Makes me 97 squirm. KROY, 709, 56 degrees. Uh, it's going to be sunny right now anyway. Sure. And the lavishly appointed Croy Mango Lounge looks <laughs> darn nice right now. <laughs> and uh, this is a true story. It's in West Virginia. There's a restaurant that claims to be the first fast food Russian restaurant here in America. What if they made besides stroganoff? What can they make? <laughs> <laughs> and they call themselves, they're, they're like the Russian... McDonald's. Yeah. Hello? Hi, is this Adolf? Right, yes. This is Adolf. Adolf, how you doing? JR in the morning, 97 Croy, Sacramento, California. Oh, it's a little surprise for this morning, but it's all right. Okay. I'm doing good. <laughs> now, tell me, you, you have a Russian fast food restaurant. What's it called? It's uh, it's uh, it's called, uh, uh, sounds a little bit funny for American, Piroshki. Ouch, sounds like <laughs> something hurts. Piroshki. Piroshkis. And it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, looks it looks like egg roll, the Chinese, but it's filled du dumplings. Some are we fried, some are baked. Ooh. With spinach, with, with potato, meat, or mm. all the things. I could eat one. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Now, do you serve it just like in Russia? So do you like to wait in line for a week, and then when you get up there, you run out? Oh. Oh, no, oh, well, no. You, remember you go days? much faster, about 75 miles an hour, at least. <laughs> Just watch for our tickets. Hey, do you remember those days waiting in line? <laughs> about five, ten minutes. Oh, okay. Yes. Hey, listen, I was told that you play a mean saxophone. I, yeah, all, all my life, I, in my background, I'm a saxophone player. Yeah. But now, now I start compose music. Oh, so you can play like some, some uh, Stairway to Heaven, uh, some Van Halen? Yeah, you can hear, but you know my my style of music a little bit is more like jazzy. All right, but All right. Uh, you know it's some. still it's still American style. Let me hear some. <laughs> Kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Adolf on the Kimball Swinger Four Hundred. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music, beautiful. When's the album coming out? Very soon? Adolf? Hello, hello. Yeah. When's your album coming out? It's, uh, it's being, I, I'm working for right now in this project. It's, it must be next, uh, next well, four months. All right, I'll be ready to hear it. And good luck with the restaurant, Adolf. All right. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Spring Ball Entertainment includes TKA live in concert. Remember, it's a gala affair. Well, I, I will be at the gala affair. They asked me to open on my harmonica. You know, maybe I can get Adolf to fly in with this Kimball Swinger 400. We can do it up big time. <laughs> he is tough, isn't he? Boy, can he play a what mean one-note samba. Well, he's no you on the guitar, but <laughs> hit it, my man. Time for some sports. Blues, I'll do basketball scores today. One, okay. three, six, nine, uh, one, eleven. <laughs> uh, Seattle Wonder. 
Sacramento 118. Lakers 113. Minnesota 89. Milwaukee 96. New York 95. Sports Brew with JR. Do you from me live? And remember, coming out later on this morning, we'll fire up the free money music clock, and I've got those George Carlin tickets and a drawing for backstage passes to see that wacky man in concert. I'll tell you how you can win them in minutes on 97 KROY. Yeah, and people in hell want ice water, too, boy. <laughs> Have a game. KROY, 723, 57 degrees. And, uh, well, I don't see any rain out there, Miss Trudy Z. Well. Weatherologist. <laughs> Maybe just clouds are going to hang over us today. All right. All right, then. You know whose birthday it is today? Whose birthday Should is I it? I share with you a little. Remember General Ben? Yeah, is it his birthday? Well, not How old the bear. is he getting that to be? That bear bit it. Oh. <laughs> that bear's a rug somewhere now. He died like last, this year. He really did. That did bear died. He was getting real crotchety, too, and taking swats at people. <laughs> I wonder if he died of natural causes or somebody iced him and he's laying in front of the warden's uh, fireplace now. It's uh, Clint Howard. Oh, yeah. Little Clint Howard. Remember the kid uh -huh. that looked like a rodent? Yeah, and still does. Yeah. You know whose brother he is? Ron's. Yeah. Opie's brother. Yeah, he's the, he's the brother. Gosh, I bet he doesn't get this. Gee, I wish you were more like your brother all the no. time. No. In fact, he's the leech that has appeared in every single one of his brother's, brother's movies. Because his mom calls and says, Ron, give your brother a job. <laughs> oh, Ma, come on. He can't yeah, act. Have to. But did you ever notice on those shows with these animals? that it's always the kid understood exactly what the bear was saying or like flipper or whatever. You know, and that bear just came up and went, oh, oh. <laughs> Gee, Dad. <laughs> Gee, Dad, General Ben says he's got the combination to that lock right here. <laughs> you know, the kid never did anything useful with it. No? If I was that kid on General Ben, I would have said, hey, Dad. <laughs> ben says if you don't let me stay out of school the rest of the week, he's going to swat your human head off. <laughs> Now that's the way to use there those animals. Go. Dad, Flipper's going to hold you underwater until you can't breathe unless I can stay out of school for the rest of my life. And you'll give me a new boat, won't you? <laughs> Isn't that right, Flipper? <laughs> Great plan. Oh, oh, oh. 97 KROY with JR 740, 57 degrees. Uh, sunshine today, a high of around uh, maybe 75, right? And uh, this is Earth Day. Well, we're, we're actually, it's not actually Earth Day. Earth Day is Sunday, right? Right. So we're going to celebrate Earth Day today, and we're giving away limited edition JR in the Morning trees. This year for Earth Day, say it with a tree. Oh, do, please. Okay. You know what I want to play? Hang on, i got to find the music. Okay. Now. I want to play Dead or Alive. All right. Want to play? Yeah. We didn't play this. Week. I'd love to play that game with I gotta you. Get a, i got to find some music back here. you got to have that... You gotta have that official ambiance music to do with Dead or Alive. <laughs> that Dead or Alive music. All right, so if you mm -hmm. want to play Dead or Alive, go ahead and call now. Let me find something here. Okay. Go ahead and fill in for a sec. Would you okay. Um, coming up in the news, we're going to have a little uh, condom that could story. Yes. Wow. Um, the story of the brand new and improved birth control for you. And uh, we also have Greg Lane, who is on his way out with those Madonna tickets. There you go. Right, yo? Thank you very much. Let's go to the phone now, shall we? 97 Cry, good morning and welcome to Dead or Alive! Good morning, JR. How you doing? Good. Who's this? This is Elise. Hot Mama. Yeah. Ready to play Dead or Alive? Um, yeah, if I don't die first. Okay, <laughs> great. There's a positive attitude. <laughs> All right, I have a list of five people. You have to get at least three out of the five right to win valuable prize, okay? Okay. And since it's Earth Day, I'm giving away a tree. Does your yard need a tree? I live in an apartment. Well, you'll plant it in the living room. It's a good look. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, here we go. Yule Gibbons, dead or alive? Dead. Dead, yep. Dirt Yay! Now. Number two, Paul Lind, dead or alive? Dead. Yes, 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 thank God. Number three, Mama Cass, dead or alive? Dead. Yes. Oh, I'm on a roll. Donna Reed, dead or alive? Alive. No. Oh, I blew it. No, dead. no, she's a worm condo. <laughs> All right. Here's I still got three. Your, here's your last one. Okay. River Phoenix, dead or alive? Alive. Yes. Oh, Elise, so happy day. My nipples are hard. You're a winner. Yay. <laughs> Since uh, we are celebrating Earth Day, you get a tree from us and a hit pack of music. All right. All right. That what's sounds your, great. What's your dead or alive station, doll? 
97 Croy. Oh, man, your life. Your All life right, is- ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to go to the amazing Greg Lane. Hey there. I'm hey, here. Hey, hey. I've arrived. All right, hide the sturgeon. Okay, now here's the clue. Listen very carefully. I am at a place where the road meets the river, standing in front of a south-of-the-border restaurant named for a very famous car. And with me, I have the Madonna tickets and a fish. And all you need to do is be the first person down here. Yes, and read the clue. There's a password inside the fish. Right. You don't say, hi, JR, you, I hate you, anything else. Well, you can say that if you want to. Oh, yeah. after, uh, after you give the official clue, though. <laughs> Got it all said. Okay, one more time. Uh, where the river, where the road meets the river, I'm standing in front of a south-of-the-border restaurant named for a famous car. All right. Okay, Good I'll luck. be waiting here. Good luck. We're all depending on you. Thank you so much. Now, Greg is in a fish suit, I might add, so you can feel free to gap him and drag him back in, too. Yeah, thank you. No fines. No, no, no. No fishing ticket for hooking Greg. 745 KROY. 97 KROY. Except no cheesy imitation. The Monster FM. 749, 57 degrees. A uh, high of around 75. We got a phone call to grab here. 97 Croy, good morning. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Yeah, bite me. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, could this be? Could this be our Hide the Sturgeon winner? Yeah. Yay. Yay. Our bite me? Who is this? This is Linda Fox. Well, JR, bite me was the official password. Therefore, I know you're the one that found that big, ugly fish. Yeah, it was hanging here. The fish was just hanging on the phone? Yeah. How darn attractive was that fish? Oh, it was just lovely. Is, yeah. it, is it smelling pretty ripe? Yeah, pretty right. <laughs> now, have you been uh, catching our passes, our, our little clues all week? Well, most of them. Well, good, 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 good. Well, guess what? Just for finding our sturgeon, you now have a pair of tickets to go see Madonna in concert. All right. All right but there's only one one stipulation. You have to take that fish to the concert with you, okay? <laughs> you I can, don't know about that. Well, make, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good look. Make a glove out of it, maybe a little <laughs> hat band or something like that. Well, my- all right, well, grab that fish under your arm and uh, come on down here and we'll take care of you, okay? Thanks, you. What's your hide the sturgeon station? 97 Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's a tear in my eye. Let's hear it for our ladies and gentlemen. Hide the sturgeon winner. There's more tickets on the way for 97 K R O Y. 97 K R O Y. 754 Taylor Dane. She still calls me. Does she? Yeah, all the yeah. time, you know. Mm-hmm. Every Friday night, Taylor Dane calls me. She always wants to hook up. She's always trying to send a leer down to pick me up, take me wherever she's at. <laughs> she doesn't have anything to do one Friday night. You know, night. there's only so long a man can tap dance before I just have to tell her, look, Taylor, I like you as a friend, okay? I just <laughs> yeah. like you as a friend. <laughs> yeah, all right. 57 degrees. I'm glad somebody won that hide the sturgeon. Was that thing getting rank or what? Yeah, it was a little sneaky. Because it wouldn't fit in the, the lovely Croy refrigerator. And plus, Julie Hahn, our uh, our accountant here, was getting real fired up about Did it. Did you notice the coffee was kind of fish-flavored? Everything mm. is around here. Yeah. <laughs> Everything smells like fish around here. So, we had a winner. Yay! Hi, the sturgeon. And it's my mom's birthday today. All right. I'm going to call my mom here oh, just a little bit. Cute. Are you allowed to tell? I don't, well, she'd kill me, so yeah. I better not okay. say. She'll... Trudy, I'm surprised at you. Now, <laughs> listen to this. I'll mark my words right now. I guarantee you one of the first five lines out of my mother's mouth will be, Lara knows. How does your hair look? Exactly. <laughs> You're my kidding mother, me. My mother always asks me, how's my hair? And what am I wearing? Yeah. My mom is just like, she, she's, you know, she's like, she's always trolling for me. She's always trying to hook me up with some woman. So my mother will always be trolling for me. So that's to set it up. <laughs> sure. Okay, that's the setup. My mom likes to ease in. So uh, we'll we'll call her here in just a few minutes. Okay. We're going to talk about the little condom that could in just a few minutes, Oh, I love too. that story. It's 55 degrees, up to about 75 today. Now, Miss Lara checks your morning traffic. Not too much happening at this time. You'll find westbound I-80 still a bit slow from Madison to the split. On Business 80, you'll find it's still kind of heavy between the Marconi Curve and the R&Y. Northbound 99 just has a minor slowdown at this point around Mack Road and westbound 50. Just a little bit of breaking action around Watt Avenue. And it's an innovative, irreverent, cutting-edge comedy for the 90s. Join KTXL Fox 44 in living color at its new time, Saturday night that. at 9. Pretty funny. I like that. It was different. Then at 9.30, it's the Tracy Ullman Show in Living Color and the Tracy Ullman Show Saturday night on KTXL Fox 40. I'm Miss Lara for KROY. There's a brand new condom on the market, people. It's a loose-fitting plastic 
condom, which is uh, the invention of a, a company that doesn't want any money for this. They just want to make it for the health and safety of the uh, American people. Loose fitting. It's going to be more comfortable, guys, than your Wait standard condom. Wait a minute, condom. I didn't know. Were they supposed to be tight? <laughs> Aren't they all? Oops. The hey, wait a minute here. <laughs> okay. Wonder where you're putting it. And uh, <laughs> it resembles a sandwich bag, according to the researchers. Oh, you lock in the freshness here, huh? It's a Ziploc. <laughs> nice. And it's supposed to be tied. I'm all confused. I wonder why every date is calling me mouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mouse, <Yes. laughs> I've got your weather after this. Hi, Cricket Weenie. You know? 97 Troy, KROI, and Bass Tickets invite you to pick up the Night Out Entertainment Guide. Available free at all Tower, Warehouse, and Wine Stock stores. On sale now at Bass Tickets. Oakland A's and San Francisco Giants home games. New kids on the block at the Oakland Coliseum Stadium. Santana's playing at the Stockton Civic April 23rd. Appearing at the Arco Arena. World Kickboxing April 27th. George Strait April 28th. And Janet Jackson May 5th. Coming to the Cal Expo Amphitheater, Whitesnake in Bad English May 18th. David Bowie May 23rd. And Millie Vanilli June 3rd. Call Bass Tickets at 923-BASS. That's 923-2277. I'm Trudy Z, your official KROI Sacramento forecast, 75 degrees and partly cloudy today, 68 on Saturday and partly cloudy again, cool and a chance of some rain most of the way through the weekend. It's 55 right now at 8.01. Now back to JR and the most music in the morning at 97 KROI. Most music guaranteed. I don't know about those loose cons. 97 <laughs> KROI with more music and more free money just after 8 o'clock with Mouse. 97 KROI Sacramento. 97 K R O Y 817 58 degrees. A nice day, a high of around 75. We're going to play our drive through sing along. For those of you who have that car phone, this will be good for dinner at Crawdads. You have to go through one of these uh, fast food drive ins, get them to sing along with you. Oh, we'll have come more on. details in minutes. <laughs> 97 KROI with JRA, 32, 59 degrees, high of around uh, 75. Anything for dinner, dare, car phone fun. It's the car phone sing along. For those of you in your car phone right now, what you got to do is go to a fast food restaurant, pick any song you want, like the Brady theme, anything you can think of that you would know everybody would know the words to. How about this song? Yeah, can't mm -hmm. touch this. Mm -hmm. And to get them to sing along with you. At the window, like the guy that's working, you know, the guys that you want fries with that, dude? <laughs> that's the dude you tell, get him to sing along with you, okay? And what you can do is bribe him. You tell them that JR in the morning will give them a 97 KROI t-shirt, okay? And then they'll do it because that's the main wardrobe of a fast food worker. <laughs> yeah. Any concert t-shirt or any radio station t-shirt, that's the official wardrobe of those guys. 766-9797 yeah. or you can call me at 228-KROI. That's a 1-800 number. Why you do that, I don't know, in a car phone. But uh, you can give me a call. Go through a drive through It can be a jack-in-the-box. It can be anything. Get them to sing along with you and win. And now, from my hit album, Glistening Chunks on the Beach, by popular demand, and because I want to play it anyway. But crack. You sing along. You see by the side of the road Who's showing 15 inches of
sack, girls. <laughs> 97 KROY, JR 838. Feel free to sing along. 59 degrees, high 75. And uh, we got to go to the phone here. 97 Cry, good morning. Who's this? This is Dave. Dave, where you at? I'm at Jack in the Box on Marconi and Watt Avenue. All right, and uh, you got a song you're going to sing? Yeah. Who, who are you going to sing with? Who am I singing with? Mike, Mike and Gail. Okay, now they got to get real close to the phone so we can hear them. Mike's right here. All right, what are you guys going to sing? Close your eyes. Close your eyes? Yeah. By who? By who? By who? Oh, you know, Top Gun, close your eyes. Oh, okay, do it, do it, do it. You never, never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. There's no tenderness to be born in your fingertips. Oh, nice. <laughs> People are honking at him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Are we on the radio? Beautiful, beautiful. Are we on the radio right now? Mm -hmm. Well, of course you are. Yes. Hey, let me hear the car horn, too. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You guys are winners. All right, get those weasels all together now and tell me what their favorite sing along station is. Ninety-seven coins. Oh, man, your life, your life is cut and dry. You know. Ninety-seven K R O Y nine O seven. Sixty-one degrees, a high seventy-five. Hey Trude, should we call my ma? And she's coming in here. Should I try? Want to try and call my mom again? Okay. All right. Just dial the phone. All right. Maybe she'll be home. She was supposed to be home all morning. I already told you the standard questions will be. One of them will be about my hair, no doubt. My mom has this thing about my hair. Hello? Ma! Hi, JR. How are you? Happy birthday! Thank you. What are you doing? Well, I'm just getting used to being 39. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good lie, Ma. Don't hang up on me. Hey, I tried to call you earlier. Where were you? Vacuuming. You were vacuuming? Yeah, you know I vacuum all the time. On that fine writing vacuumer. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> on the writing vacuum cleaner. Right, exactly. What's new? Nothing. How are your billboards going? Great. Nobody knows it's me. How does your hair look? Oh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah? It's fine. It's a good cut? Yeah, it's a nice cut. Good, good. And what have you been doing on the air? Um, today I gave away a dead fish full of concert tickets. Oh, JR. Yes. Why couldn't you give away the tickets without the dead fish? Well, that was the whole gimmick to have the tickets in a dead fish. It was in a dead sturgeon. Oh, a sturgeon. That's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh sure. That, that, that's what I'll be able to eat. Yeah. Oh, I well, love... It was, it was a little old. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do me a favor. Next time, give away at least a fresh dead fish. Okay, Ma. Okay? I will. And thanks for calling. All right, Ma. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Send money. <laughs> okay. Bye. bye. You notice no matter what, you can always ask money. For money for I, I could be 50 years old and I could ask for money from my mom. She'll send it. My dad will go, that son of a bitch wants he want money for <laughs> Just send money, man. Okay. 97 KROY with JR 912. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for that uh, soap opera date, date, date. You know and love is time. For Dr. Love, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Love, how you doing, everybody? Oh, I feel just wonderful this morning. Good Ravishing morning. pink outfit oh, today. Oh, you love this? Oh, darling, it's one of my, this is my new creation, you know. What do you call this look? Well, I call it, um... Uh, the lust uh, cost costume outfit, I guess you could call it. With, with handy pouch there yeah, in the front, yeah. I like that. And, you know, it tickled me today, um... I was on the bus today, and this one lady asked me, she said, are you a fashion designer? I said, oh, no, darling, I'm just a tramp. Oh, <laughs> oh I just you love it. You ride the bus every day, don't every you? Every day. He kissy does kissy his part out. for a day here, oh, kid. thank you, thank you. Kissy kissy out here. Now I'm Dr. Love with your soap sneak peek. Oh, guess what's going on, loving? What? Can Stacy accept Rick's growing closeness to their baby girl? Let's hope so. Oh, on all my children, Erica learns the hard way that a picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, that tramp herself. You know, I, was, I read this thing on Erica the other day that she was 
between two brothers. Oh, aren't they going to run the train on her, baby? <laughs> oh, oh, so hot. Oh, nice. oh. oh, on One Life to Live, Dermy Con Michael's unwilling partner in a dangerous game. Oh, sizzling hot. General Hospital sparks flies between Scorpio and Anna when she lies to protect Casey. Uh oh, Ooh, and this other sneaky, sneaky gossip I got too. It is true that Frisco may be getting frisky with Felicia. Fans of General Hospital may be noticed. Felicia wearing a lot of tinny clothes these yeah, days. Oh, I've been yeah. watching this, by the way. Oh, oh, they were doing something in the bedroom, believe me. Ooh. This is supposedly for real, right? <laughs> yeah, They're really hooked real. up. They really hooked up, and rumors has it she and her romantic co-star Frisco are nuzzling each other for real, and Felicia has a bun in the oven. Ooh. Oh, baby, let me tell you. <laughs> and, you know, it tickled me the other day. I did get a call, and this one lady said, Dr. Love, I've been trying to get pregnant for years. I say, honey, your husband probably didn't have enough of beef to put in your oven. Ooh. <laughs> Doug, as we know, the whole world is a soap opera, and we're all tramps. Dr. Love, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right. Be careful. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Say it. 914. 61 degrees. Minutes away for the grand prize drawing of those backstage passes to see George Carlin in concert. A 97 KRY.